Hi, this is Nick from Lake Geneva Country Meats, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite comfort food recipes, braised beef short ribs. You can do these in the slow cooker, but I really like braising them. They're a really impressive meal that your friends are going to say, wow, you really know how to cook. So follow this recipe, it's my own, and you're going to have some delicious short ribs at home. First step is we need to season them. So we have three short ribs here, and these are barbecue style short ribs where we have three of the ribs across. We also can do English style ones for you, and that's what we usually have in our case, where it's just like this, cut lengthwise. So to season these, we're going to take and liberally put some salt on. I like sea salt. I think it cooks better. Crush some fresh black pepper on them. And while this is going on with the seasoning, we're also heating a large pot up. And then some flour. And then flip them over. And do the same on the other side. Now you can see that the bones are on the, um, this side. That is the top side. And that's important for when we put them into the, um, pan for broiling to make sure we keep the top side up and let that little bit of fat cap on the top of it baste the meat as it's cooking. So we got all three of these seasons, just kind of rub that in a little bit. And now we're going to go ahead and sear these in our pan. I have a large pan on a high heat and I've melted about four tablespoons of butter in there. We don't want to be afraid of the butter. So we're going to take and place each short rib in the pan on this high heat and let these sear on all sides. It'll only take about two minutes on each side, front, back, and then each side, and then we'll put it in our braising. So we'll be back when they're all seared. Now that these are nice and brown on all sides, we're gonna take these out of the pot and set them aside for now. Just put them on a plate. And we're gonna use the leftover liquid and drippings in here to make our braising liquid. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in, I have um, a small onion and two carrots chopped up, add those in, and then I have about two cloves of garlic chopped up, and we're going to add this to the pan, and we're going to cook these on high heat until they're nice and soft. So we'll be back again when these are soft. Now that we've cooked our vegetables until they're nice and soft, we're going to add our liquid to this, and this will be our braising liquid. So I have about two cups of beef broth that I'm going to pour in. We didn't quite need that much. We just want the pan to be on the bottom. And then I have two cups of dry red wine. I'm using Cabernet, and that's a good one to use. You want to make sure you use equal amounts of each liquid. So we're going to do this, mix this all together, and then I'm going to add my favorite ingredient, about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Now we're going to scrape this all together. Make sure you scrape the bottom of the pan to get all the leftover beef in. Combine this all. Keep cooking this over high heat and we're going to cook this until it reduces by about half and this will be the liquid you use to braise the short ribs in. We've kept cooking our liquid on a high heat until it's reduced by about half. You can see it's still simmering. And what we're going to do now is take and transfer this liquid into a oven safe pan like I have here that's big enough for putting the ribs in. Just go ahead and pour that all in. And now we're gonna set the short ribs in that pan for braising. Braising is a combination of wet heat uh, that it's sitting in the liquid and uh, dry heat in that we're putting it in an oven to roast. So we have these laid out in our pan we're going to take and cover it with some aluminum foil, that tight. And now we're going to go ahead and put this in our oven that we have preheated to 375 degrees and bake these for two hours. Okay, it's been two hours. We're done cooking our short ribs. They look delicious. And halfway through what I did is I flipped them in the pan. So I'm going to take one of the completed short ribs out, put it on the plate, and look at how delicious this looks. So we're going to go ahead and you can just cut this away from the bone. It falls apart beautifully like that. Cut a little piece off. Mm. 
so tender, so flavorful, just great. Uh, this is uh, one of my favorite recipes to make. It's very easy to do, but it's really elegant and your friends will love it. So do it for your next party and enjoy. To see the full recipe, click on the link below and it'll take you to the website. Thanks for watching and see you soon at Lake Geneva Country Meats.